just wanted to talk real quick about how we scribe the curved dome wall to the sheetrock. Um, essentially what you're going to do, we've, we've actually done the wall, we shot a video but it didn't come out very well because the audio was messed up. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to find the biggest opening part, right? So it looks to be like right about here. And so, you know, wherever your opening ends, right, so I would measure from the longest piece and just measure horizontally, like let's say the imaginary opening is here, so I would cut this at 48 inches. And then once I have it cut, I put it up and you want, you know, you want it to touch on one end, but you want it to be square to everything, right? So you just put it up there square, you might put one screw in it to tack it down. Like in this scenario, where it's close enough, I would use this scrap because it, it, you know, it's adjustable and this is, this is doable, right, with this piece. So when you go to line this up, you're going to, at that deepest opening part, you're going to touch the wall and you're going to touch the edge. This is how you know you've got it right. So now when you scribe the line up to here, you're taking off the right part. And so it just kind of shifts into place and drops into the opening. Right, and so you would basically just start here and then just roughly trace a line up like this. One of the keys is, is you can't get off. You have to keep this flat or vertical. Wherever you start at, you need to stay at. So if you go like this, you're going to get a, a varying width and you'll be all messed up when you go to slide this in. So now I would just take a knife, cut it, snap it off, shave it down to make it right. When you have a bigger gap, uh, what you can do so we made this really long one with a level in it. It's a two-person job. Uh, basically, what you're doing the same thing. You're finding your, your length, right? So it normally it would be, you know, you've got a bigger gap for some reason, right? So you're trying to scribe like this. You're gonna watch this level, and this is why it's two-person. One person's gonna struggle to get it to do all these bumps because it wants to stick. The other person's gonna try and keep it level watch this gauge and just make sure when you're going up it's staying perfectly level all the way up. What happens is, is on, a, on a steep curve, like up above, is you're coming in like this, right? And so you have a big gap at the bottom and then the top corner is touching. You can, you know, back off a triangle here to make it a little closer. The closer you get, the better your line comes out. The further away you are, obviously, you know, with this, the more tilt there is, the worse it is. Is there anything else to add? I think that's about it. It's pretty easy. And not too bad. We're almost done. Just a few little sheets right there. Two more. Two more little sheets.